I was out here, this is Wednesday. Praise Lord, we thank God for another Wednesday. We thank God for another Wednesday. For waking us up this morning. And start us on our way. Ooh, Lord. You know, I'll think about some God give you relation about on the Wednesdays. Remember that show, The Adams Family? We used to watch that. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Well, God give me a revelation about that. Jesus. God bless you, my. Thank you, my good brother. I appreciate you. God give me revelation about that, about the Adam family. When we grew up on the Adam family and the monsters, said, so what, what are you getting at, Preacher Warren? What are you talking about, Preacher Warren? Well, check this out. The Lord showed me something about that. This is deep. Mm, we're going to talk about this. We had Lurks. We had Cousin It. <laughs> Remember you rang, sir? You had Lurks. You had Cousin It. You had Uncle Festa. He was really weird. You had Pugsy. And you had Gomez and Marticia. But Wednesday, it was something about Wednesday. Now watch this, today is Wednesday. So I said, Lord, why did he name this woman, this little girl, Wednesday? The Lord brought to my mind a lot of witches and warlocks work with witchcraft Wednesdays. I mean, they, they can do it every day, but they got certain days of the week where they do their demonic cult stuff, occultic stuff. Same way we celebrate the Sabbath for God. Well, they got a certain day set aside. They, you got something called Black Sabbath, which is on Saturday. But God showed me something about Wednesday. Okay, look at this. The Adams family really represented witchcraft. It was witches and warlocks. Even though they was funny. <laughs> we used to like lurks. You had Uncle Festa. You had Pugsy. You had all that. We grew up on that stuff. Okay, but the Lord, I was, why, I was wondering why they named the little girl Wednesday. So if you look at the Adams family, Okay, well, we grew up on that comedy show, even Bewitched, even back then, that was in the witchcraft program, even though it was all comedy, but she represented being the witch. So we know God is against witchcraft. It's, it's, it's in the book of Exodus, chapter 22, verse 18. He speaks against the wizards in Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 31. So something about Wednesday. The Lord began to let me see that there's a lot of people who do their, a lot of cultic witchcraft stuff on Wednesday. They do it on Fridays, Saturdays, but something about Wednesdays. Because demons operate on certain times of the weeks and day. The devil got certain demons he assigned to different territories. Have you noticed certain territories seem more evil, more than other territories? Sometimes the devil got people who are doing witchcraft, doing soul traveling, astral projection, and pronouncing death on people, even while you sleep. He got gang stalkers. But it's something about Wednesdays. So they named the little girl Wednesday because on Wednesdays, they do a lot of their occultic practices. So you notice now Adam's family, really it represents, now my last name is Adams, it's spelled A-D-A-M-S. Okay, that Adams family is spelled A-D-D-A-M-S. So we used to like to watch the Adams family growing up. All right, but it really represented a cult. If you look at all of them, they was all cult. <laughs> Lurch, he represented the zombie, the dead man. Uh, Marticia represented the witch. Look, Marticia, Marticia, Gomez. He represented the male witch, the warlock. So even in certain movies that we grew up on watching, it has represented temptation. Even with the Marvel comic books, you have Doctor Strange, he represents a wizard, all witchcraft. You get uh, the Blair Witch, all that is demonic. Um, Spider-Man, where he shoot that web, he, he puts out a devil worshiping sign. So the enemy is very, very tricky. So uh, someone came to my YouTube, asked for prayer, and you said, there's death all around you and your family. You, you, you suffered a lot of death in your family. Now, we know we, we all got to go one day, but there are people who are dying before their time. I want to give you some pointers. If you're practicing, if anybody in your family has done any kind of Masonic stuff, with 
the Masons, Freemasons, or Eastern Stars, okay, they do a lot of wonderful works in the community. But Jesus said, that's not enough. He said, many in that day will come to me saying, Lord, Lord, have we not done many wonderful works in thy name? And then when I profess unto them, I never knew you. Okay, that's in St. Matthew chapter number 7, verse 22. The Masons, the Eastern Stars, because I had them in my family, they meet up uh, twice a month. And they required to do rituals. You don't realize that in those rituals, there's a lot of witchcraft going on. They pronounce death upon their offspring. There was a woman came to me in the Bronx. Uh, I was born in Harlem, in New York City. Only been living here in New Jersey for two years. And used to be in front of the Apollo Theater playing the bass and preaching the gospel all in Harlem. I noticed something now. There was a woman that came to me in the Bronx. She said, Preacher Warren, I don't understand. I got death in my family. Every time someone is dying in my family, this one is getting cancer. There's a car accident. All these bad things are happening. And the Lord began to show me that there was masons in her family who was doing demonic rituals and pronouncing death on the offspring. Because the Bible said that life and death is in the power of the tongue. So I said, Turn your plate down and go on the fast, and we're going to denounce the demons of those Masonic lodges who are pronouncing death and doing witchcraft on your offspring. Do you not know that she did what I told her to do? Do you not know God healed her father from cancer? The same week, God began to break that curse in her life. Praise God can break a generational curse and bring a generational blessing. Woo! I feel the Holy Ghost, you don't got to take no drug overdose. So something about Wednesday, they allow them to do their rituals 2, 3 in the morning time, voodoo and doing lustful stuff. So I want you to start praying and fasting on those days. I want you to play some good old gospel music. Hallelujah, hallelujah. My brother, God bless you. Go on, Angel. What's your name, my good brother? My oh, I know you. Now you know it's good to see you, brother. But today, thank you, brother. Today, I do branded content. Oh man, you got gifts. I want you to check this out. Oh my God, this ain't nothing but the Lord. My brother got tapped. All this talent you got. Oh my. Oh my God, how do you do that? Well, steady hand. Brother, you got a gift. You can make a lot of money doing this. And I just discovered this gift, and guess what? It's nothing to me. Oh, you know what? I like the music. You're going to get rich off this. You're going to get rich. We're going to get with, rich. We, we brother, I'm proud of you. So oh, my, my. This is. So this is my, my proposal. Yes. I don't charge you a thing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Instagram. 